So I have a question for you. What's healthier, yogurt or ice cream? Well, yogurt, right? Not quite. Let's do the comparison. Let's take one cup that's 128 grams. Ice cream, on average, has about 28 grams of sugar per cup. But let's take a look at the sugar in four different yogurts. Yoplait, 41 grams of sugar per cup. Compared to ice cream, this is off the chart. Then we have Gogurt, which is 38.2 grams of sugar. Danin, 36 grams of sugar. Then we have Danin Activia, 43 grams of sugar. But of course, these are sweetened with sugar. They're not plain. But this blew my mind to actually do a comparison to see how much sugar is actually in one cup. Now, a lot of these products are either in four ounces or six ounces, and one cup is eight ounces. So if you were to look in the back of the label, you say, oh, this is a, a little less than ice cream. But if you do the calculations one for one, you'll see that it has a tremendous amount of sugar. So you're going to create a huge spike in someone's blood sugars. Not to mention the type of sugar. A lot of times you're using high fructose corn syrup. They add modified corn starch, which is a flavor enhancer to make it taste good. They put corn syrup, but it's low fat, right? It has added vitamin A and vitamin D, and it's grade A. Now, what is grade A? There are two types of milk. Grade A is primarily used for direct sales and consumption in stores, and grade B used for indirect consumption, such as cheese making and other processing. So that's all grade A means. Now, I did an assessment on the quantity of certain foods that someone consumed back in 1970 versus 2015. Check this out. Beef from this time period to this time period, it went down by 33%. Chicken spiked up by 116%. Corn products went up by 180%. Corn sweeteners went up by 300%. Grains went up by 127%. Soy went up by 190%. Vegetable oils went up by 270%. But look at this. Yogurt went up by 1,600%. Now, when I first saw this, I kind of like downplayed it and I didn't put attention on it because I'm thinking yogurt can't be that bad. But this is significantly higher because back in the 1970s, we didn't consume as much yogurt. And this could be potentially one of the significant factors of adding all this sugar into the diet and creating insulin resistance in so many people. I would recommend if you're going to consume yogurt, make sure you read the back of the label, make sure it's plain, make sure it's whole milk. I would highly recommend getting a Bulgarian yogurt if you're going to do that. Kefir is even a little bit better. It has more microbes and less sugar. Definitely don't get the added sugar or sweeteners or even vanilla has a lot of sugar in it. You can put drops of stevia in there as your sweetener if you want. But if you have this idea that yogurt is a health food in any way, shape, or form with this amount of sugar, it's not. Hey, we're back with another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.